The mourner's Kaddish is a fascinating prayer. It's said when a mourner loses a loved one with great emotion, with tears, and very often the person has trouble even being able to verbalize the words because of the great pain that they are in at the time that they are reciting the mourner's Kaddish. We've all seen that at the gravesite, the family members. Sometimes it's a very tragic sight seeing some children who are younger, lost their parents in an untimely manner, lost family members in a tragic manner. Reciting the mourner's Kaddish always seems to be the epitome, the peak of the most emotional experience of the funeral. And then even the subsequent 11 months of mourning that the mourner recites the Kaddish for. But what's strange about the Kaddish is, it's not what you would expect. You would expect to find in the Kaddish words of grief, words of loss, words of pain that elicit that kind of emotional response. But the Kaddish itself actually speaks not one word of death, not one word of loss, mourning or grief. The entire Kaddish prayer is talking about sanctifying God's name, magnifying God's name and talking about God's greatness. So how is that synonymous with the mourner and what they are experiencing at that particular time? It certainly almost appears that the emotion and the visuals of someone saying Kaddish does not fit the lyrics of what the Kaddish is. And so I heard the explanation of what makes the Kaddish so powerful is that if we think about the fact that every single Jew, whether they are observant or not, whether they realize it or not, they are members of an ancient people and an ancient faith that by their very existence, as they go about their lives, testify to Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. They are walking, living embodiment of the belief that God exists. They are witnesses to God Himself. A Jew, their entire purpose and mission is to bring kindness and goodness to the world, to be a light unto the nations, and to influence the world in a positive way. By doing that, you become a witness testifying to God's existence. When one witness is taken from us, there is one less individual bearing testimony to God's goodness in the world. That light that was previously shining forth bearing that testimony to the world is no longer present, is extinguished. So we say in the Kaddish prayer, my father or my mother may, may no longer be bearing witness and testifying to God's presence in the world, but I, his son, I, his child, will take his place or her place in ensuring that there is no deficiency in God's witnesses in this world and therefore I say the Kaddish that God's presence will be just as strong, just as powerful and just as formidable because my father may have fallen, but I, his son, will take his place and continue to spread that light and shine the light, testifying to Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad, God's greatness in the world and the belief that the world is indeed good and filled with God's goodness. If you like that video, hit the subscribe button and notification bell below for hours of the best Jewish content online.